Would you like to show more love and value with your gifts? Do you like saving money? This is the perfect place for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make easy gift boxes so you can save money and cause an impression. I'm also giving you five money saving tips. Hello, my name is Carla Souza from Reinvented Heart. I make videos about DIY craft project and I give tips for saving money, resources and the planet. I also want you to relax and have fun during this time. If you think that this is the right channel for you, please don't forget to subscribe and, and hit the bell button for notifications. Let's slide into the project. I'm going to teach you how to make these amazing and easy boxes from two types of materials so that you can save money and amaze people with this wrapping and what we can place inside of it. I will leave in the description box below or in the end cards a link to another video where I'm going to show you how you can scale them if you need a bigger box. So let's start very easy and simple so that you can say that you can make fantastic crafting projects. The materials we are going to need are cardboard from cereal boxes or cookies or cardstock that you can buy, ruler, scissors, glue, pencil and some ribbon. Well, my first tip for you to save money is to use cardboard from uh, cereal boxes but you can buy cardstock like these blocks or those bigger sheets, you know, the ones that measure about 50 or 70 centimeters, which is pretty cheap also. And from one sheet, from one of those big sheets, you can make a few boxes, depending on the size that you want them to be. Of course, I prefer cereal boxes because this way we are saving the planet and they are sturdier. But from this, we can make small boxes. But if you buy the big sheets, you know, you can make bigger boxes, but less resistant. In the end of the video, I will show you a cute thing that I came up with, but that's a surprise for now. Stay tuned. Another thing is that this box is magic. Quite simple because all sizes are equal. So let me explain with the, the little one. I made the smallest box with four centimeters. So we have to measure out to the base so that we can have four sides of four by four centimeters and three sides by four centimeters for the height. So we need to add an extra centimeter on the side and one centimeter on the top so this will have 17 centimeters by 13 centimeters usually from a cereal box you can make two boxes but i think i have a bigger box probably not a cereal box but i think i made four out of one box this is our base for the box. Here is my money saving tip number two. We are going to save all these bits. For all these bits you can find in the description box below one video how to make bookmarkers and that is an easy project for you to make with children. The next thing that we are going to do is to score. I'm going to show you how you can score it using a nail file. So you can do it on the inside of the box. I'm just going to use a scoreboard so you can see that it's faster. If you use something else, you have to be careful not to cut the cardstock. So this is an easy way to do it. So like I told you, the next thing we are going to do is to score this at four centimeters, eight centimeters, 12 centimeters and 16 centimeters. See here the one centimeter I talked to you about. Now we're going to slide this, put it to the side and then going to score it again at four centimeters, eight centimeters, 12 centimeters and the other one centimeter that I talked to you about. Four, 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 one centimeter, one centimeter. Here with the scoreboard, we don't need to buy this. I do a lot of um, boxes, so I decided to buy it. In the score boxes, we score it on the outside. If you do it with the file, you do it 
on the inside. After you made all the scoring, you need to make another scoring on the first and on the third side, okay, up to middle, okay, from the top up to middle. You don't need to measure a lot, bull's eye it. It's two centimeters, two centimeters, okay, here it is up more or less from the middle of this square don't need to be quite precise okay so don't worry about that this is another scoring that we need to make now we burnish all these markings okay i'm doing it with a bone folder but you can do it for instance with a scissor okay so this only sometimes slips a little bit but it's pretty much the same thing how do you feel when you receive a handmade gift. Don't you feel the love that has been placed into the present? Tell me all about it in the comments below. I want to hear it from you. So we are going to cut just this little piece here. Okay, this one, we are not going to need it for this box. And we are going to cut the vase, okay? Please pay attention, that is in the base. This is the top of our box, this is the base. We could glue the box just like this, but I like to make some small corrections so that you can close it better. From here, just a little bit, okay? From the side to make a diagonal line. Just, 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 just a very, very small thing. So we can glue this box better. Just in the base, just like this, just this tiny little bit. Let's glue our box. We just need to flatten it just like this. Put some glue in the flap, this one centimeter flap. I'm just putting here so that just you can see. So, but you can glue it down just like this. You only have to be careful so you won't glue the two sides. We are going to glue the base. Uh, we only need to apply the glue to one of the sides, but I always try to be careful where I leave my amendment, okay? So we need to put the sides on the inside, the back, and then the front. This way we have the side we glued and the side we glued to the back and we have a very clean box to the front. So this leaves a very sturdy bottom. The next thing is to shape our box. We just need to pinch the sides, just like this. See, that's why you have the score line over here. Doesn't need to be very, very perfect because let's embellish our box. We can make some holes with a hole punch. Here I made two but I remained a hole punch for the bigger boxes. And here I'm going to use this round flyer. We can make a hole in the middle, okay? Since this small box is very strong, I really recommend using a ribbon. I use in here peg, but this is so fragile that we'll um, dismount uh, immediately. And this is my money saving tip number three. Save all the ribbons that you can find or even make them from older clothes, for example. Clothes that you cannot donate. If you're getting value of this video, don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss another tutorial. Here's our ribbon. And now all we need to do is to glue a small embellishment in the front of our box. And another tip, this is money saving tip number four. Uh, this could be made from cardstock of cereal boxes. Remember the small pieces that we use. You can stack them uh, on top of each other, glue them. This could uh, give you more uh, dimension. You can paint them with acrylic paint or gouache or river coloring pencils. This could be a collage from a magazine or advertising leaflet, for example. You could glue, for instance, in the collage, glue the piece of paper into cardstock to give it dimension also, just like this, a little bit cardstock in the color that you may wish. This fancy embellishment um, work at using my Cricut machine, my cutting machine, and we can make tons of them. If you need those, 
I can provide it as a, a service. So send me an email to the email uh, that is on the screen. And you must be wondering by now what we can place inside of the boxes. Well, ton of things, uh, depending on the size of the box that you can have earrings, makeup items, soap, goodies, chocolate, cinema tickets, of course, depending on the size of your box and even a jam jar in the bigger ones. Okay, in these bigger ones, I offered already jam. I made this one a little bit bigger because of the jar. And don't forget about the video where I'm going to teach you how to scale. And here comes the surprise and my final money saving tip. I use this tiny little box to, to offer these beautiful aromatherapy uh, diffusers. They are very cute. They are so cute. And I need it as a really sturdy box to place them inside. This is made all of what we could call waste material. Okay, this is scrap paper, this is coffee capsules, and this gets damaged very easily if you press it. This is the perfect match. And I have a tutorial for you to learn how to make these beautiful diffusers without spending a single cent. And in here, we can place, it is hidden, okay, so you open it here, you can place its essential oils. You use them next to your computer or desk. My message to you is to look at every material and package and try to see a second life for it. This planet needs us to think of sustainable ways for us in the future. I would like to say also that crafting is fun and that we all can do this. I'll see you in the next tutorial. And action! I forgot. And action! It's about DIY. Hello, my name is Carla Sosa and I make DIY. Oh no, I forgot. DIY. Let's forget about the DIY. Come on. DIY.